Well, there you are. Welcome to 3D Printing Nerd Studios. Of course, proudly powered by PCBWay. 8% off your order. If you use the code in the description, free money is cool. Today, we're talking about this. The Poly Dryer. Polymaker historically has been a materials company. PLA, ABS, PETG, ASA, Glow in the Dark, all of the rest. All of these great and wonderful 3D printing materials that we've used almost every day. And now they're in the hardware game. This is the Poly Dryer, a dry box for your filament. And it was sent over because Nick at Polymaker was like, hey, Joel, let me know what you think. And I'm like, Nick, here we go. The poly dryer is a way to store filament and it is a way to dry the filament. And it's kind of neat and there's some things I like about it. Uh, this top part locks on really nice. It's got rollers inside if you want to roll the filament or it's got this little plastic doohickey in the middle to act as an axle for spools if you want them to spin around. It's got a hygrometer right there telling you the temperature and it's got desiccant in this little thing. That just, that just pops out. That's cool. So if the desiccant itself ever needs to be replaced, you can, you can replace it, you can recharge it, and then it just kind of sets right in there and you're good to go. So let's say, let's just say you've got some material. And this one is some Matter Hackers <laughs> Pro Series TPE Proflex Sapphire 3 millimeter. And this is an old roll of filament. And it's TPE, which is of course, hygroscopic and it's going to want to absorb all that tasty moisture out of the atmosphere. And so for the poly dryer, what I can do is put it on, well, I can put it on the spinners right there. Uh, just in my experience, these don't spin as well. It doesn't, doesn't feel as nice. And so what I like to do is use the axle and I put it on and I slide it in and look at that, a smooth, easy way to make it spin. And then the top goes on. And now you've got yourself a desiccant filled dry box, keeping the moisture out. But this dry box is active. That's right. With this module, you can take the feet off, put it on top, turn it on, and then you can now dry your filament. It actually has settings to use if you want different material types and different lengths of drying and different temperatures. And it works out. Like I've used this. It works. It's cool. But then, <laughs> but then I saw something on the internet. And I was all, I want that. The problem arises when you have more than one dry box. The idea being that Polymaker will sell you a bunch of dry boxes and you have dryer units and you just use the dryer unit when you need to actively dry something. But what if, what if for example, as an example, my wonderful cookie CAD material actually needs a little drying. I love cookie CAD stuff. I got a little bit left on the spool and I need to dry it. So I'm putting on the axle. I load it into its box. I put the top on, but now how do I do this? Because to dry this, now I have to put that on, which means this is no longer drying. And that's where this cool thing came out called the double barreled mod. And I have an idea. I happen to have some Polymaker ASA, some Polylite ASA material. It's blue, of course, and I figured this in the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon should be able to produce the models really well. Let's go do that. And they're done. Out of ASA. And I think they look great. The 3D Print SOS logo came out really, really well right there. Top layers, a little bit suspect. Uh, if, you, if you can see in there, <laughs> maybe a little bit. I didn't put support on the insides. I just let mother nature take its course and bridge to infinity. And it, it kind of, there's some strings there. I mean, there, there is some stringiness that's happening in there, but that's on the insides and I don't care. It's not that I'm lazy. It's that I just don't care. I just don't care. It's a practical print. As long as they work, 
That's all that matters. So let's see. Let's set the stage here. So there's our dryer unit, active drying unit. And the hole here corresponds with the holes like right there and right there, okay? Now, they don't, they don't attach to the dryer unit. It just provides a way for the air to go in and out. The dryer has air coming, hot air coming out of one side and air being sucked in the other. So it creates that circular air that we all seem to love. The important part though, is whether or not these fit. Okay, they do, they do go really well there and just like that. Okay, they do attach, meaning I, I now have legs. Well, that's cool. Now I've got my TP over here. I've got my cookie cab material here and they can both be actively dried by this. I wonder, I wonder how wide you could go with that. I know that Polymaker on Twitter did see this and the comment was it may affect the drying performance. And that makes a lot of sense because the things that they put on top to tell you how long to dry for and the heat to apply really apply to a single thing. They, they didn't anticipate someone putting a double barreled mod on this thing. That's fine. That's fine. I did try something else though. Oh, did I? And it's with the Hay Gears machine. It was loaded with clear resin. And I thought, what if I could print one of these in clear resin? Oh, ho, ho, ho. that looked cool. So in a, in a smooth brain moment, I'm just, I'm gonna, I want you to look at this. Here, I'll turn it this way. In a, in a smooth brained moment, you might be able to tell I forgot to put a drain hole in this. Whoops. So there is trapped uncured resin in the middle of this semi-transparent piece. I mean, I could, I could use a drill and fix this, but, but having it kind of move around inside, I don't know, it's kind of neat. Let's see if it fits. Okay, we got it, we got it right there. And uh, we got it right there. Okay. Oh, that looks good. I'm looking at the playback monitor and I, oh man, that's, that's cool. Like, I like that. Here, I'll give you a look over there. That's, that's darn tasty if I, if I do say so myself. Well, here's the question then. Do you think I should print the other one in resin? Should I do transparent resin and use the non-smooth brain parts and actually put a drain hole in? Or should I keep with the ASA? Or what other mods do you see applicable to something like this? It is Polymaker's first hardware product and it has been received fairly well. In fact, Ajax, instead of making a double barreled mod, he switched it. So there are two active dryer units in the bottom and one box on top. That's cool too. I, I think that we haven't yet seen all of the possibilities with this because there's going to be modifications that people make where you can 3D print certain mounts for this. I believe someone has made a mount so the feet you can store right there. Me. I'm excited for the future of this because it is, it is gonna be awesome. People are gonna create all sorts of crazy 3D printable hacks and DIY gadgets for this thing to make it more useful and to make it applicable to more things and to be able to hang it on a wall or to be able to, I don't know, boost the performance. It's cool. 3D Print SOS made the model. I will of course put a link down in the description. Good job on it, I love it. I'll also put a link to that post uh, from Polymaker showing off the Ajax reverse double barrel, I guess. There's a lot of cool things happening with here. If you're making a mod for this, tag me when you do because I'd love to see it. Of course, I'm at Joel Telling everywhere. This was fun, cool. All right, well, uh, thanks to Polymaker for sending this over and thanks to 3D Print SOS for making this sweet model. And thanks to you for making this far because if you did, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more, fight for a cause you believe in and dry all the filaments. And as always, high five.